I'm here with our neighbor Joyce, rural Pennsylvania, and you can see Joyce's barn and puppy accommodations for boarding, but she's got a great garden. I mean, we're talking a great garden. We're sitting on a back porch. Life is good right now. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and we're looking up at at this amazing log and roof addition that uh, Joyce put onto the side of her house. Husband's name is Matt, right? Pardon me? Matt? Matt's your husband? John. John, sorry. John. Joyce and John. <laughs> Joyce and John. Who's Matt? Is that your boyfriend? Well, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, Matt. I'm, I'm in line with Harry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm great with names today. But this is good. Joyce, talk to me about your garden. This is fantastic. Well, let's see. What should I say about the garden? I go to water features. I don't know what it is about running water. Well, uh... Matches my running mouth. This pond was here when we uh, purchased the property 30 years ago, but we filled it in because the children were little. Wait, is that a real frog? That's a real frog. And um, so after they were old enough, we took the rocks out. And we got, do have fish in there. I have a problem with the frogs, though. Some of the larger frogs are eating some of our fish. Oh, my gosh. And that... Um, Water lily there, you see. Mm -hmm. Our uh, raw water puppies always used to fall in this pond oh, all no. the time. <laughs> and I thought I had lost that lily pad. Oh, no. And uh, my husband's cousin, David, had given it to us. And David passed away a couple of years ago. Oh. Very young age, very sad. Oh, no. And after David died, that uh, spring or summer, David decided that that lily pad would bloom again. So oh. now we have the lily. What a wonderful David story. David gave it to us twice. Oh, that's great. Oh, wait, there's another little friend over oh, there. Oh, yeah, you see that one. They're tricky. They think you can't see them. They are tricky. And the brick patio around the pond, uh, my daughter. And uh, her boyfriend put this in for us. I always come home with a car full of bricks. They say, what are you going to do with this? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So That's great. our youngest, Gina, she uh, said, well, how about if we put a, a brick patio around the pond? I said, go for it. <laughs> this is lovely. So that's what she did. And you've got, I mean, you you add architectural interests. Look at these little guys. I mean, this is, it's fantastic. I love it. I mean, you've got the right, the right eye here. Well, it can be difficult, you know, finding uh, what's happy where. <laughs> yes, yes. Little roses and uh, this beautiful rose here is from my daughter Jacqueline and her husband Chris from Germany. Oh, lovely. They're living over there. And that was my Mother's Day present. And I thought I had lost it because when it came, it was really cold and it was outside oh my for hours. And uh, but it came back for me. Oh, fantastic! Now, what's the story about your tiles? You've got the greatest collection of tiles. And I see them everywhere. Well, that's another one of the things I collect. I would like to do a wall, perhaps. Mm. Perhaps someday, um, on my tractor shed, I will do a wall of tiles. <laughs> but meanwhile, I do not like having them stuffed in drawers. I know, and here's another one. And this is, this is like typical of the tiles around here, isn't it? Like a Mercer tile, is this a, yes, that is a, a Mercer. Mercer tile? Beautiful from rural Pennsylvania. I did not get the opportunity yesterday to water my plants, and as you see, they need water. Oh, everything needs water. It's going to be 90 degrees today, but look, I mean, this is great. This is great. We're going to take more of Joyce's garden in a minute. 